and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Chelsea and if you're new around here we like to do beauty related content on this channel. If that's something that you like then please hit subscribe and if you're already subscribed then please click on the little bell and you'll be notified of every time they upload. So today we haven't done one of these videos in ages and I need to start bringing them back because since I've done my makeup rotation thing hopefully I will be spotting a few newer favourites in my makeup collection each month. But yeah so this video is going to be last month's favourite so I have got one self-care item and the rest is makeup. I don't think I've got any skincare. No, no skincare obviously but I have got a lot of makeup products to get through. A lot of combination combo products like the reason why I love it is because I've been pairing it with this blah de blah de blah. So I'm not going to ramble too much so let's get on with this video. So if you want to see the products that I loved throughout November then please stay tuned. Okay so let's start off with the only self-care item I've got. This is the Complete Me Sleeping Beauty Tablets. These are a natural remedy to a good night's sleep. I have trouble sleeping quite often. I'm such a light sleeper as well which doesn't help and I do think it's ever since I started sharing a bed with Connor that I can't sleep because I just don't like sharing a bed. So I've, I've set myself up for failure really. Yeah, these did actually really help me. So you get 60 capsules, which is 30 days worth in this jar. I've only got one day's left that I've been saving. And basically on the first couple of nights, I didn't really notice much of a difference. If anything, I probably slept worse on the first night. Then after that, it like progressively got better. So after about day three, day four, out like a log. Out like a log. I slept all the way through the night. Didn't wake up till literally about six, half six in the morning, which is like get up time anyway. And yeah, didn't have any crazy dreams. Didn't wake up feeling groggy. Like they were actually really good. So I definitely do recommend this. This is a product that was gifted to me, but I said that I will still give my own opinion on it. But yeah, I'm really chuffed with this. So I do actually need to buy another um part so this is 15 pounds which i think is quite good if you think that it lasts for a whole month felt like this really helped so if you have trouble sleeping then i definitely recommend this because it's got a lot of natural ingredients in so it's got like magnesium zinc chamomile b3 b6 and lemon balm so yes yeah, so that's the first thing that i really enjoyed throughout november now onto the makeup products so let's go with base so first of all i've got this Glowish product. So this is the multi dew skin tint. This is in the shade Too Fair Light. Now the only thing wrong with this is I do need a bit of a tan for it, which I think is ridiculous because it's fair light. So you think that it'd be for fair people, but it definitely isn't. So yeah, so I do need a little bit of a bit of colour to my skin to be able to wear this and it blend really nicely. But when I have got colour to my skin oh my god i absolutely love this product i definitely need to get number one and hopefully it'll be in my everyday skin shade but oh this is just it blends out so nicely there's not really much um coverage in it but it is just a skin tint it reminds me of a thicker version of the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter like just a bit more coverage. So yeah, that's what it reminds me of because it gives you such a nice glow. It's so easy to just apply. I love wearing it to work. It wears well throughout the day as well. Yeah, 100% recommend this and I really, really need to get the lighter shade so I can wear it every day. Next we have up this combination, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So this is in the shade three neutral. So this is my everyday shade. And then underneath that, the Revolution Glass Skin Primer. So I absolutely love this. Like I didn't think I would like it because I have oily skin. This underneath like a, a matte foundation, perfect combination. It doesn't leave you looking too oily or dry. This will be really good for people with dry skin. You just have like a, a glow from within underneath. And then next we have a slightly newish product. I haven't had it that long. The MUA Makeup Academy Liquid Blush. So this is in the shade Dusky Rose. So it's quite a pink mauve shade. So this is what the colour looks like swatched. Yeah it's like a cool toned muted mauve pink. And I absolutely live for a pink blush at the moment. Like I love pink blush. I prefer pink blush to peachy blush now. So I love like a cool toned pinky purpley blush at the moment. And this is just perfect. It's so, so pigmented 
and it's three pounds. Three pounds, give me all of them right now. And then to go with pinky blushes, I've also got the Vive Cherub Sunset Blush. So excuse the packaging, it was in my bag for some reason. I'll put it in my bag. I think I was going out after work and um, it got a bit mucky, but this is a gorgeous pinky shades i absolutely love this blush it blends out beautifully it's very pigmented yeah it's such a stunning blush shade and again it goes perfectly with this dusky rose i do recommend the vive blushes and the packaging if it's not like mine they're all grubby but it is very luxe looking alongside this mac highlighter so this is the old darling highlighter I've literally had this in my collection for a couple of years now and I never really reached for it so I was glad to put it into my makeup rotation for November and I've been loving it. I've got it on today and I just use, like instead of using a highlight brush, I just use like a small, well, a f large eyeshadow fluffy brush and I just literally put it on the points of my face and... Yeah, and it literally lasts for ages. It's a gorgeous shade. It doesn't leave me with a cast as well because it looks quite golden in the pan. But yeah, it's a really good highlighter. Like I absolutely love the MAC highlighters. So there was that one. So the two palettes that I've got in this video is the Jeffree Star Weirdo palette, which I will link my video down below for this palette. So I absolutely love this. I use this quite a lot when I go out, like I said I would. So this is what the palette looks like. And these are the shades. So yeah, absolutely love this if you're going for like a, just a smoky eye. And I love a ski eye for when I go out because I'm not, even though I li love doing my makeup, absolutely love it, love taking my time. I feel like when I'm just sitting in my room playing around with makeup or doing vid videos, things like that, I don't feel as much pressure. But when I feel like I'm going out, I feel like there's this immense pressure. I'm timed, I have to get it, get ready real quick usually and i don't have enough time to like play experiment if i go wrong then i have to i don't have time to fix it so then i always go for a staple smoky eye across the lid so you'll always use like freak show and then blend it out with like only child and mohawk and then maybe a bit of razor blade in the corner exactly the same as how i done it in my video which i've linked down below but yeah really really staple palette for me because it's just so easy to use and they blend out beautifully but then if i am going for a more soft look then i have been reaching for the new p louise beneath the sheets love tape palette so this is what it looks like i think i actually received this in a budget box and yeah i did and they're all like it's all matte shades and um, there's no shimmers in here whatsoever so you get eight matte shades and you've got the perfect chocolate brown shade here and then you're just going down and along and even these pale shades so pigmented look at that they're so such a buttery formula really really nice formula they blend out beautifully and these are the perfect tones if i am going for like a more of a warm tone like matte eyeshadow look and then if you didn't think of this lip combo then have you been watching my videos because i have been living for these three lip products together this is my perfect nude combination now and it's like a more of a cool toned beigey nude which i love so first of all we've got the peach and cream hotline lip pencil so it's quite a dark brown and then i top that with the doll beauty come to mama lipstick so this is quite a beigey nude and then i top that with the jeffree star supreme gloss in naked in the dark which again is a beigey nude so so this is the three combined so we've got the lip liner the lipstick and the lip gloss and oh my god this combination literally love it and i just love the peach and cream lip liners they're some of my favorites at the moment but i just love this combination like i would hope to be buried in this combination like i literally love it to death i've tried not to do it so much in every video but this combination just goes with every single look i swear 
And then the last thing I've got to talk about is this got to be eyebrow gel. So at first I wasn't really rating it, if I'm honest. I did do a whole TikTok viewing this against the um, standard like hair gel one that you use for your eyebrows. But I've actually been loving this, like just on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is what the spoolie looks like. So as you can see on one side, the spoolie is very flat and then on the bottom end is very raised. And I think that's a really good idea to do. So you just use whatever side to like brush the product through your brows and then the other side to like fluff it up and it literally does stick all day as well so I usually use this paired with like the P. Louise pencil just on a day-to-day -day rather than using like pink honey or the P. Louise brow balm um, because just for work I don't need to be laminating my brows but just for like all like quick ting before work then I will pop this on or even once I finish my makeup when I just need a little brow gel then again I'll pop this on as well and it's only like six pounds in the shop so I thought that was a dead bargain so that is the end of my favourites video for November. Let me know if any of these products are your favourites or what are your favourite products for the last month. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget I've got a giveaway running until the 13th of December. So please enter down below. I'll link it down below for you. And yeah, hope you stay safe. And hopefully I shall see you in the next video. Bye.